Hello, Jay Bob back for another video. Yes, um, as you can see from the title, this is a mass unboxing of various bits and pieces that, uh, some of which is stuff I've had for my birthday, stuff I've bought myself. Um, and yes, as I was saying, it's a mass unboxing stroke. Um, interesting news, or more sad than interesting. I probably think we better tart them up by the time I stick this up in minutes. Yeah, let's call it what it is, and some silver vision news, which you'll work out what that is in a minute. Anyway, on to the uh, unboxing. If I can get into this stuff. Awesome source. A DVD that I've been trying to get hold of for a while that went out of print here quite a few years ago, I think, but strangely didn't stay in Silver Vision's library. But yeah. The WWE Billy Graham 20 Years Too Soon DVD. last adding to my DVD collection, although I had the last one, the Lethal Weapon DVD collection, and that actually nearly had a heart attack then. Well, how the fuck are they? Oh. Don't you just love it when DVDs come and they've popped out of their thing and you can't see how the fuck they're supposed to go back? And actually these do come with some extras I didn't realise. I thought they were actually vanilla ones, that's cool. Um not a lot, just delete scenes and stuff, but well worth it. I did as I said have the the fourth one, but I've really managed to get the whole thing at a decent price anyway. The first three used to go for something stupid like twenty quid. Right, on to the next one. Yeah, as I said, some of this is birthday stuff that came right. Aha! And some of this is stuff that I bought with money and that. At last, I've not seen this film in 20 odd years. Hasn't been released over here yet, however, it's an American version of it, no holds barred. A slightly cheesy wrestling uh, film starring Paul Kogan. Yes, and it's Movie Mars again, arseholes. 
basically they say this stuff is in the US and it 9 times out of 10 isn't, they just take their time sending it because that obviously hasn't been through customs so unless it's ordered to done to order which is stupid why then it's sent direct to me but I've branched about that before <laughs> awesome Hardy Boys Twist of Fate DVD Next, I think everything is here. Some sneaking suspicion, it isn't. Hey, ho, Shawn Michaels from the vault. Excellent little DVD, well worth getting. Is in fact two discs, even though on Amazon it said one. And the final Sean Michaels DVD for my journey. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, save that one for last. I don't Oh, holy shit. Oh, no, I thought, yes. Ah, yes. I've forgotten that. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. Shit, well. Yes. Terminator. Salvation, the machine, the machinima series. <coughs> Don't really know a lot about this series, but I saw that Zaron Isaac had got this DVD, and I'm a big Terminator fan, and I thought, ah, oh, I need to check this out, and it's sort of an anime type thing, I believe. Right, and the other thing that I got, the first part of the G.I.J. film manual by the people that brought you the Allspark Almanac, Jim Sordenson and Bill Foster. Awesome people. And this looks absolutely brilliant and I will be getting the second one when it comes out next year. Awesome sort. This is sort of the birthday present to me. And it's something I've been after for a while. That I've never been able to find at a decent price. Or complete for that matter. I would over time. But in all its glory. <coughs> Somewhere in here. Oh. I hope in decent condition. Not condition actually. Mask. Switchblade. Sure, that pulls out a bit more. Awesome, awesome toy. That means I think I've. I just found a new gimmick for it, I didn't know about it. Awesome toy. Um, 
I think that means I've pretty much got all of the first wave of the uh, mask toys. Only thing missing is missile, which I can't remember if it's supposed to be missing. But awesome. Another Mars Mayhem figure, even though I have one. But that is just awesome. I got it for we posted it thirty quid. And this thing can go for up to sixty quid. Fortunately I fell across a bit of a dumbass on um eBay because this was actually just um what's the word? Listed as a uh helicopter transformer. Um I remember Kinnick. Ah, oh, there we go. In jet mode. That is awesome personified. Oh shit, I'm dead pleased with that. been away for a week to, um, uh, where the hell have I been? Scarborough and Buxton, Scarborough, Whitby. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, if anyone's interested. And I ordered this before I went away, so I just couldn't wait to get it when I come back. Right, last thing, and this is where we go on to the um, whatever I'm going to call it, pain in the arse news, really, because that's what it is, to be quite honest. See what the damage is because I forgot what the damage was. What's I saying? Saturday night's main event. Best of. Uh, Great Superstars of the 21st Century. Blu ray. Story of Edge. Blu-ray. Fifty greatest finishing movers in WWE history. Blu-ray. Rey Mysterio, Life of the Last Man, and Edge. Decade of destruction. Decade of decadence. All from Silver Vision. Now, ooh, any of you that aren't a wrestling fan, uh, Silver Vision. Um, are the people that um, produce the WWE DVDs 
in the UK. And as you can see, a lot of this is WWE stuff. Um, you may know them better as Mega Mal, which was their mail order name back in the days of VHS. Um, you may even know Clear Vision, which is the company that owns Silver Vision, who also uh, produce the UFC DVD, UFC DVDs, yeah, UFC Auto Fight Championship DVDs on Blu ray for UK. And they have the right to the Marvel DVD library as well of cartoons, so that's where all the classic cartoons come from Clear Vision um, it was announced in the week unfortunately Silver Vision or rather Clear Vision, because Silver Vision will cease to exist as far as I can tell uh, are parting ways with the WWE, they will not be doing their DVDs anymore they will as of the 31st of December and after that if they have any stocks left they will just be selling whatever stock they have left and that will be it um, anyone that knows anything about Silver Vision and ordered stuff from them um, in the past year knows that there was a problem back in um, May time and the I've got them up there and I can't be able to get them down now the pre-orders for Wrestlemania 28 WCW um, Best Clash of Champions and ECW Unreleased Volume 1 um, basically the pre-orders have cancelled for them along with any other stuff at the time that was up for pre-order and I think that was only it at the time due to well unforeseen reasons we never actually got an answer to that um, speculation is it was to do with a tagged classic series of stuff which is basically the way they released the ad well most of the VHS library of the DVD and there was some problem with still with on some of them still using the WWF logo um, on some of them that for some reason pissed off WWE rather a lot and for whatever reason we presume that's why those were stopped and um, at the time most people were thinking Silver Vision are going to go out of. They're going to part ways with Silver Vision because at the same time, they were reducing shiploads of stock and doing loads of offers like they're still doing now. So most of what I bought there, you've got 10% off of uh, everything in your order as long as you order more than three DVDs or more than two DVDs. So they've been reducing stuff like fuck for months. Blatantly, obviously, you know, it's quite obvious that there's something going on and they're going to be parting ways. Which is what's happening now. And obviously they've got some sort of um, deal extension to the end of the year. But yeah, so who knows what's going to happen with DVDs now. And there's no news as in who will be doing them from now on. I mean, WWE must have a UK DVD producer sorted out by now, I would have thought, being that they've given Silver Vision a date to part company. You would have thought. Maybe it's still they were getting pissy over them doing UFC stuff as well because there's this sort of issue between the two companies kind of who knows but it's sad and it pisses me off at the same time because they don't tell us anything they should have said that this could be well no they should have explained what had happened earlier in the year 
and sort of given us a reason why this is happening. Because it's, you know, it's, we're not stupid. It, it, it's kind of obvious, and not giving us details and denying stuff just doesn't fucking help. So, when it comes to wrestling, fuck knows what's going to happen over here now. And of course, WWE Euroshop, they get all the merchandise, t shirts and stuff, have gone out of business apparently. So, you know, at this point in the UK, you have no way of getting merchandise officially. I mean, there's eBay, but no real way of getting it offici officially unless you can afford to get it off the WWE shop.com and pay their absorbent postage which is ridiculous it was going to cost me 20 quid to post a CM Punk t-shirt last time I looked on there so at this point in time dark days for wrestling fans or WWE fans Any wrestling fans, really. WWE, easier, <laughs> you know, whatever wrestling, yeah, WWE wrestling fans in the UK. We all just have to see what happens. Hopefully, there'll be some announcements soon. Because the last DVDs we'll get new ones from Silver Vision will be the NWA Blu ray and DVD set that they're doing at uh, SummerSlam. Actually, June, November, I think. Or no, maybe the summer. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble. That's it. That's what I wanted to get on to. So, yeah. Summarise. Silver Vision, WWE, our buying company. It sucks. It's fucking annoying that we weren't all kept in the loop because this was obviously going to be happening from May. It's obvious why it was leading everything going but you know they didn't say anything however on the plus side we should get loads of cheap DVDs now because Silver Vision we want to get rid of the stock we have shit tons of it right I will be back uh, sometime in the week with another video another rant unfortunately um, it's sort of an add on to the video I did previously where there's some uh, information come up to do with something I talked in in that, but we'll leave it at that. Okay, ta ta for now and transform and roll out.